The U.S. Electoral College is set to confirm Joe Biden's election victory. Once formalized, it's viewed by many as a knockout blow to Donald Trump and his efforts to overturn the results of the presidential election. 538 electors will be gathering in state capitals all across the country. In the U.S., a candidate becomes president not by winning the popular vote, but through this electoral system, which allots votes to the 50 states and Washington, D.C. The number of votes per state is mainly determined by population. The results show 306 electoral votes for Democratic candidate Joe Biden. That exceeds the necessary 270 needed to win. The current president said last month that he will leave the White House if the Electoral College votes for Biden. But he has continued his unprecedented and so far unsuccessful campaign to undermine the results and challenge vote counts in key swing states. Well, Will Denslow is joining us live from Pennsylvania. Uh, will, is this the final step in the election saga? Well, in a normal election year, the answer would be almost certainly yes, that this is a rubber stamping process. But of course, as we well know at this stage, this is no normal election cycle. There has been pressure from some members of President Trump's supporters uh, to urge state legislators like here in Pennsylvania and other key battleground states uh, to put forward Republican um, electors to for the Electoral College vote, because, of course, uh, as things stand, as, as far as the Constitution is concerned, when it comes to the Electoral College, it is the winner of a particular state that's put forward its candidates put to cast those votes. So the message from some of Trump supporters is to overturn that. That has largely been met with deaf ears, though. So I'm here in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, the state uh, capital. We're expecting 20 um, of uh, former Vice President Joe Biden supporters to be the ones casting their votes. So we certainly expect the Electoral College votes to go on as expected and for Joe Biden to officially be named as the president-elect in the United States. Well, President Trump has yet to concede defeat, though. How do you expect this to play out? Well, Steve, the message from President Trump speaking on Fox over the weekend is that he says that this is not at the end for his bid to seek another four years in the Oval Office. This, of course, comes after he was dealt that huge blow uh, by the Supreme Court on Friday evening here in the United States when they struck down that uh, bid from the Texas Attorney General, that huge uh, lawsuit that was compiled by Texas, a number of other states, as well as over 100 lawmakers as well. But the president certainly is not conceding. However, we have heard over the past few weeks from several prominent Republicans that have so far not conceded that Donald Trump lost uh, the, this election. However, they have hinted uh, that the Electoral College will be seen as really a final step in their efforts uh, to see Donald Trump win another term in office. Of course, though, after the Electoral College, we then go to the nation's capital where Congress will officially count these votes. This will, however, give an opportunity for lawmakers uh, to cite their concerns uh, to potentially try and block that vote. However, after that process, it will then go to a vote in both chambers, of course, both the House and the Senate. Of course, as far as any kind of challenge to this Electoral College vote is concerned on January 6th, what this means, it will be a straight up or down vote in both chambers. Let's not forget that a number of Republicans have come out saying that Joe Biden won this election. And of course, the Democrats control the House of Representatives. So it is really seen as, uh, for Donald Trump's most ardent supporters, a very, very slim path to victory, if there's one at all. Well, Denslow in Pennsylvania, thank you for that.